Creating packaging designs in 2D and 3D is easy with RDOSCAD, the world's most popular structural design application for packaging. But did you know that RDOSCAD also provides powerful and comprehensive features for the production of dies, counters, stripping sets, rotary tooling, ejection rubber profiles, and blankers? In this video, we will demonstrate how you are able to create die boards and stripping sets ready for any output, including lasers and die saws. The creation of the die board starts with a layout of folding cartons in this example. First, we add the wood edge and hand holes. Then we add mounting bars and stripping rules to remove the waste from the sheet on the die press later on. We insert balance knives and nicks. You can see that with the auto repeat feature enabled, RDOS CAD will automatically repeat the function on each one-up design. This significantly saves time and assures accuracy. You can check and adjust the properties of the nicks and bridges at any time in the process. Also, rotary dies can be created. Here's an example of such a design in which we are adding bolt holes now. But let us get back to our previous flat die, where we are ready to create the stripping boards. Default options are set up in the application settings, but can be modified for each individual design. For example, use push pins for internal stripping only. As you can see, when creating these production tools, we create both the internal and external stripping, upper and lower boards at one time for maximum efficiency and consistency. In this instance, we simply set internal stripping to rules and recalculate, but it is still possible to modify your presets afterward. The die board and stripping tool results are now ready for output to a laser for manufacturing. In this lower stripping board output example, you can see the waste on the lower board is used to cut blocks for the upper stripping board. We may also create rubber elements for our die board. We use the same approach. This time with preset values of elements such as the type of rubber, position, etc. Calculating the rubber elements will generate profiles in accordance with the properties in our settings. Just like that, with a single click, your rubber elements are created. Before we send the results to a water jet or Kongsberg plotter, we have the option to nest these elements on rubber sheets to optimize the rubber sheet utilization and reduce waste. With high grouping enabled, all equal elements will be grouped together. This makes them easy to retrieve, but results in more waste of the rubber sheets. With low grouping, there is less waste, but the corresponding elements might be a little harder to find. To finish the main tooling, what if we decide to not just strip scrap away, but we want to create blanking tools to separate the cartons? RDOSCAD has that solution as well. Making use of the same die board, we will now simply create internal stripping. After removing the internal waste, we will separate the cartons from the sheet using a blanking unit. In this example, we will create a combo tool for single cut based on a BOPS 102 machine. Settings can be configured to match the equipment that you have. First, we add the metal bars, vertical and horizontal, and add the hardware components to fit the bars to the frame. Then we add swords, then position the photo cell. And finally, we add the joggers to keep the cartons in place on the pallet. Now, with all the components in place, we calculate the blanking elements, lower board, upper board, pushers, etc. So you see, in minutes, you can create a complete set of blanking tools with all the needed components. You can easily toggle between the view of blanking tools, stripping boards, and the die board. The final tool that is to be created are counters. RDOSCAD can generate both plastic counters and steel counter plates. In this example, we chose the steel counter option. We will open the embedded one-up design and create the channels for the counter. Returning to the layout, in just seconds, we design a full steel counter plate that can be output to a milling device. As you can see, RDOSCAD contains all of the manufacturing features you will need to easily create tooling for the entire production of your dies.